Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. Um, you know, I haven't been on Stadia for quite a while, and uh, I decided to go in it and decided to check it out. You know what I really have appreciated? And what I'm appreciating right now about Stadia is the fact that everything is there for me. You know, I don't have to buy additional $250 or $220 uh, solid state drive, you know, one terabyte. And then when that is gone, when all that's filled up, I need to get another one, an extra hard drive. This is honestly, this is what I miss. Look, I love my uh, next generation consoles, but my God, my God. The storage, it's, it's, this is where I see issue and the problem with, with the consoles in the future. First of all, the consoles are always going to be limited to what they can do, to what they can achieve, because that's the hardware that's built inside, and that's all you've got. If you want something better, you got to buy another console, an upgrade console, or the next whatever generation console. But the issue, it's always going to be the hard drive space. And these solid state drives, they, they cost money. Even the mechanical drives, they can cost money depending how much of a, a hard drive you want. And you look at some of these games, man. You look at uh, Call of Duty, 300 gigabytes. Forza Horizon, 120 gigabytes. You know, the uh, Red Dead Redemption, 100 gigabytes. Uh Every game, more or less, it's 100 gigabytes. All that stuff adds up. And then you got Flight Simulator is going to be, with all the updates and everything, 180 gigabytes as well. All that stuff adds up, man. And you always have to make space and, and, and all the updates that, that, that it has to go through. All of that stuff you have to keep in, in, in the account, man. All of that takes a lot of space. Now, I know that the, the cloud gaming depends on uh, a good, stable internet. But my God, I miss this, dude. I miss this. Uh, let me tell you. The fact that I can jump in and start playing um, like Tomb Raider or Metro Exodus or NBA 2K or Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, I can jump right into it, right? I can just jump right into it and start playing it, man. You know, I, I miss that, bro. You know, I miss that ability. And, and, you know, Stadia reminds me of that. That, hey, you know, man, you know. This is one benefit that I always appreciated about uh, cloud gaming, you know. Someone has texted me the other day. I said, hey, man, have you gone back to cloud gaming? Have you checked things out? And uh, let me tell you, man, um, I miss this. I still have my uh, Stadia. I never canceled my Stadia. I, I, I still have it. But it reminds me, it reminds me how much I miss this, you know, uh, versus the consoles where you constantly have to have that storage space and, you know, this is great. And I still believe that this is going to be the future guys it has to be the future otherwise microsoft wouldn't be investing so much into the uh dx cloud the azure uh, why i kept saying uh all these years that cloud's gonna be the the future because stadia has showed me even though stadia is a service it's not like super successful but what they have proved to me they have proved to me what's possible in the future and uh, the internet will always advance the internet will always keep advancing and uh, this is what I think by 2030 or maybe earlier than that but to be reasonable by 2030 or 2031 this is where I believe the uh, the future of the uh, gaming it's going to be think about that you don't have to wait for any download you don't have to wait for any ridiculous updates 
you don't have to worry about do you have enough hard drive space and they can always uh install solid state drive nvme into these big data centers right people keep forgetting that they can always upgrade these data centers they can put uh you know 10 terabytes 20 terabytes 60 terabytes of solid uh state drive ssd nvme in there and you don't ever have to worry about the loading time they can always enhance the gpus uh the cpu the memory ram so i still believe that uh my humble opinion this is the beauty this is the uh the future i still stand by that statement and you can easily exit you can go back and exit the game and uh go go switch to another game very quickly you know maybe i want to play uh i don't know maybe i want to play madden dude i haven't played madden uh, in a while maybe i want to play that maybe i want to play madden you know so let's let me see we go to my library or uh fifa or uh, maybe i haven't played cyberpunk right i want to play cyberpunk i haven't played Cy cyberpunk in a while and my saves and everything it's there on the cloud i can always continue finishing where i where i left off with a cyberpunk um you know this is something that who was it yesterday that kind of reminded me of that uh i don't know somebody on my um uh, community forums i don't know someone came in and told me uh, hey dude you know uh i can save a bunch of money by just getting the uh stadia you know um now you still have to pay games for stadia but think about the benefits you know the benefits is you don't have to um uh, spend money on a hard drive spend money on these uh next generation expensive consoles and then who who knows how long before they become obsolete um you know th there's i want you to think about this okay i'm not telling you you know don't buy the consoles i'm not telling you i'm not telling you what to do in this video i'm just giving you some observation i want you to look at this as a observation to observe this and think about it like hey you know what maybe mr 4k has a point here you know, maybe he's bringing a valid point. Even if you, even if you hate me, I know there's a lot of you that hate me. I don't know why. Um, I don't, I don't understand that. You know, like why you hate me? You don't know me personally to hate me. Uh, but whatever, whatever floats your boat. Uh, I'm simply saying, even if you don't like me, I think you should definitely observe this as a valid point is a valid point like hey mr 4k is it's bringing a, a a truly a valid point here uh look look how fast this loading look at this barely any loading barely any loading time look at this and look how quickly i can go switch between the games how quickly i can uh start playing look at this how quickly i can switch there we go just like that you know continue where i left off and i can exit i can switch to another game uh at another game and another game and another game and another game and another game uh by the time you wait for the updates by the time you wait for the downloads by the time you have to delete and then down re-download something by the time you spend more money on those 200 250 dollars you know uh NVMe solid state drives by the time you know you have to delete some more games to make some more space uh dude I can access everything at any given point at any given time uh look everything's recorded all my photos captures everything I have done in the past it's recorded um I don't know man uh I want you to think about this uh, think of it as like it's like a, as, as a valid point. It's like a, a valid point that I'm trying to uh, bring about here, as far as uh, Stadia and cloud. Even even if Stadia 
it's not successful as a service. But you can't, even Review Tech USA will agree with me that, yeah, I could see what's possible in the future, you know. And I'm pretty sure even he will agree with me. My brother from uh, upstate New York, Review Tech USA, shout out to uh, Review Tech USA, uh, even he will agree, even though if Stadia, it's not successful as a service, but it's still amazing what they showed us, what's possible in the future. Think about what's possible in the future. This is a testament to what I was talking about by 2030, by 2031. Uh, so uh, I want you to think about this and observe this and maybe you will see my point here that I'm bringing some valid point. All right. Well, thank you, guys. I'm going to see you on the live stream uh, pretty soon. We're going to do some PMDG uh, flight simulator. We can do some Stadia over the weekend, too. You know, we can go back through some of these games. We can do that as well. Uh, so, well, there you have it. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Be good out there. Uh, and for those of you who are here in the United States, happy and safe uh, 4th of July weekend. Please stay safe out there. Thank you.